All right, Midland Contraband, I want to talk to you about a couple things. First, I want to talk to you about the schedule for coming up next year. I also want to talk to you about uh, the things that we're doing right now and what we have going on in our community. Um, so we are a large band. Uh, we have been for many years. We come with a big footprint. Um, and so the activities that we're doing now uh, is really a, the best practices, I feel, for keeping our band safe and still allowing those who want to uh, participate in musical projects to do so. So we have the host recordings going on right now. It's not too late to join in. Uh, recording at home and getting those put together. Um, the current recording is probably gonna be our last uh, last recording or hopefully going to be our last recording. Uh, so if you wanna take part in one of these recordings that a lot of bands have been doing this last year, this is your last chance. This is a great opportunity to, to get your video in one of those recordings and get your sound out there. Um, so. Uh, it, we have lots of resources in our band. Uh, please take advantage of that. Small ensembles are happening. If you want to start a small ensemble, make it happen. We've got resources to help you with that. Uh, contact me or contact your section leader. Um, now, let's talk about next year. Let's talk about our schedule. Um, we've got some, some problems and challenges that we're going to be facing this next year. Uh, even with the assumption and the hope that we can go back to rehearsals as normal, we're still going to be facing some challenges. Uh, but I've got some solutions for those. So first, let me talk to you about the challenges. So one of the main challenges that we're going to be facing next year is our schedule. Uh, so the Midland Center for the Arts only has so many dates available for us. And uh, when we received those dates, initially it didn't look, uh, didn't look great for us. Uh, but I got to thinking in a musical way and I found some solutions that actually turned this into a positive. Let me explain. So the dates that we have right now, we only have our first two. Um, our fall date is October 31st, so Halloween. Um, and that leaves us with nine rehearsals at the beginning of the year. Sounds great, everything's looking fabulous so far, except for it does conflict with the Midland Community Orchestra. Um, so I'm already working on some solutions on how we can um, be good neighbors and, and um, good friends of the Midland Community Orchestra and, and uh, provide a, a great opportunity for both of our groups. Um, so the next concert is where the struggles come in. The uh, date that they had available for us was November 28th. Now we're moving forward with November 28th. Uh, that leaves us with three rehearsals going into a December concert. Seems like it could be a, a tough challenge for us, except for if we musically plan around a couple of the other struggles we have, it presents some solutions. Now here are those struggles. Uh, the other day I had one of my first rehearsals with the Army Band in a lot, of, uh, a lot of months, and I had not been pulling my horn out as much as I needed to. It was a struggle. My chops were weak. Um, I really wasn't up for the challenge of playing in the way that I was expecting myself to be. Um, so I realized there's probably a lot of people that are gonna be returning to our band with those same struggles. Um, even if we've been practicing, we might not have been playing with a group as much as we should have been, which means uh, we've got uh, we've got a little bit of work to do before we get our, our band sound uh, back to where it needs to be. Uh, so what does that mean musically? It means I need to program around that. I'm still gonna have some challenging pieces on the program, but probably not as many challenging pieces on the program. That allows us to dig deep into one or two pieces and then have some other exciting programmatic pieces on the, on the program that our audience will love, will enjoy playing, but won't present some of those uh, intonation and technique challenges. Um, so a Halloween concert is a wonderful idea for us. Uh, a lot of that music is being, gonna be programmatic. We can, uh, we can play it, it'll be exciting for the audience, they'll recognize the tunes, we'll enjoy playing them as well. Uh, but it's gonna allow us to dig into it um, without some of those extra challenges on every piece. We're still gonna have some meat in this concert because it's uh, it's a fun thing for us to do. Um, now the three rehearsals leading into the December concert, how do we, how do we adapt to that challenge? Um, it doesn't mean programming a concert similar to what we've done in the past. I still wanna present some challenges to you and we can start rehearsing some of those challenges before our Halloween concert. That's one of the solutions. Um, but also when you take into account our, our, our chops being a little bit tired, us being away from the band world for a long time, one of the other solutions is to turn that concert into a concert for our audience. Um, in my mind, a concert for our audience means more pragmatic work. So more of the tunes that the audience know and love, um, they don't necessarily provide us with as many new challenges to overcome. Um, a full concert of band music, uh, including those pragmatic works, might not be the most exciting thing uh, for us or our audience unless we bring in some guest artists. Here's, here's where the, the big pitch comes in. Uh, I got a call from Donnie Brown, uh, the manager for Three Men and a Tenor, and they would love to come back and do a concert with us. Um, bringing a vocal group in for a December holiday concert is a perfect solution. Uh, the audience is going to connect with these tunes probably better uh, with a vocal group um, than, uh, than a lot of other options that we have. 
bring them in means that our accompaniment pieces for the pieces that they're performing with us on um, are going to be uh, right up our alley for something we can put together in three weeks. And the outcome is not going to be a three-week concert. It's going to be something incredible for audience. They're going to love it. It's going to sound wonderful. It's, it's going to be a way for us to open up the holiday season and be one of the first performances uh, during that season with an incredible vocal group joining us and our incredible band sound for all those wonderful holiday pieces. Um, so I'm pitching this to you because I do want your feedback. I do want to hear back from you. Um, this is musically uh, a plan that I've put forward that I think has some wonderful outcomes for our band. Uh, musically, I think this is the best way for us to put an incredible uh, performance forward for both our Halloween uh, concert and our holiday concert. Um, I think it solves many of the problems that I'm anticipating seeing in the fall when we come back to playing. And I think it provides us with enough opportunities for challenges for those people who have been practicing and they want to really shine on several pieces. Um, Give me some feedback and, and let me know what you think about this, this uh, programming solution. Um, as far as changing our schedule and working out to have more rehearsals, there's not a lot of wiggle room there. There is the opportunity for asking the band uh, to do a dress rehearsal before our final concert, the week of Thanksgiving. Um, that's an opportunity. We've done Monday dress rehearsals in the past. Um, so we're definitely looking at that. That would add a fourth rehearsal. Uh, but changing the schedule, putting our concert in different locations is is not um, an easy fix. Bringing in a, a guest a guest group to perform with us, one that's been asking to be back on the stage with us, uh, and one that our audience would love to see, is a really neat fit. It's also a great way to wrap up this. Uh, I'd describe it as a horrible last year, um, kind of a, a bookend uh, way of ending out this uh, this struggles that we've been going through. The last time we were on a stage together, we had three men and a tenor with us. It would be really neat to start off um, our next season back together by inviting them back and performing some different music with them. I look forward to hearing your thoughts, uh, and I look forward to seeing everyone in the fall. Have a nice day.